I am Anil Kumar sharing with you a video to explain how to find limits by table of values. The question here is use table of values to estimate limit as x approaches 1 of x to the power of 5 minus 1 divided by x to the power of 3 minus 1. Now in such a question if you substitute 1 what do you get? If you substitute 1, you get 1 minus 1 divided by 1 minus 1. So it is of the form 0 over 0. Now 0 over 0 is not really defined. But the good part here is, limit is not the value of the function at the point. Limit is the value it approaches as x approaches 1. Right. So when we are very, very close to 1, what is the value of the function? This is what we are trying to understand right so this first thing which you should understand now we'll find the limit using table of values approaching one could be that you could approach one from the left side we normally call this as like minus one right so that is minus on the top as a superscript right or you could find this limit as x approaches one from the right side that means slightly more than one so these are two different sides you can approach one. A limit exists if and only if both the values are same, right? So approaching from minus one, approaching from plus one, if both give you exactly the same value, then the limit exists. Otherwise, it does not exist. So that's the concept, correct? So, so let's see, we'll make just a table of values here as suggested in the question itself and uh, see what value does the function approach. So in our case, we are approaching 1 from left side and from the right side. So the x values approaching from the left side means it is slightly less than 1, correct? So it's like 0 0.9, 0 0.99, right? So we can say the value could be, x value could be 0 0.9, it could be 0 0.99, 0 0.999 and so on. Approaching from the right side means it's slightly more than 1. So, so it is 1.1 is more than 1. If you want to come closer, 1.01 .01, or it could be 1.001 .001, or so on. Correct? So you can continue in this fashion. And what are we trying to find? We are trying to find this limit of this function. So let me write f of x here instead of this rational function, right? So we'll find for different values of x, the value of the function, right? So you definitely need a calculator for these calculations. Let's take one. <clears throat> so we'll substitute these values in the expression and write down the result. That's so simple, right? So we have in the numerator 0.9 and that to the power of 5, so this is to the power of 5, and then we take minus 1, bracket close, divided by, within bracket, 0.9 cube minus 1, bracket close, equal to, right? So you get a value which is 1 point, 1.5111, correct? Now we are going to replace this 0 0.9 with 0 0.99. So that makes it closer to 1 from the left side. Okay? So now we have written this as 0 0.99 and we so equal to. So we get a value 1.650. Now I'm going to change this to 0 0.99, right? Okay, 9 and then one more. In the denominator again, 0 0.99, 9. So it gives us 1.665. You can go further, right? Let me just put four nines here, point four nines, okay? Okay, so here we go. It's so simple as that. What do you find? What value are we approaching? Can you tell me? Right, let's see. So it is 1.66 recurring kind of, do you see that? So that is what we are approaching. Now let's see, what value do we approach when we go from the right side that means the value is slightly more than one so it is in fact <clears throat> let me just oh i 
remove that also exponent okay so that's fine so now we'll write 1.1 1.1 minus to the power of 5 correct and there again we go we'll do 1.1 1. 1, okay uh, let's delete this it was easier to rewrite actually anyway So 1.1, <coughs> we have changed x value to 1.1 and let's see the result. The result is 1.844. Now let's change the value to 1.01, .01, right? So 1.01 .01 equals to 1.683 and now 1.001. .001. And we'll see, are we approaching the value which we were approaching earlier from the left side, right? So, uh, okay, equals to 1.668. Do you see that? Now, if I do one more time, right, so then what happens? See, so now we have 0 0.001, right, 0 0001, right? So, three zeros and then followed by a one. So that gives us uh, 1.6668. Do you see that part? So what you notice here is that from both sides, we approach a value 1.666. That is, we approach 1.6 recurring, right? This is what we approach. And therefore, we say that the limit for this function as x approaches 1 for x to the power of 5 minus 1 over x cube minus 1 is equal to 1.6 recurring, right? You will find this exact value. If you convert to fractions, it will be 5 over 3, right? It will be 5 over 3. Let's check that, okay? We will learn a method soon where we could do this without going through the table of values, right? 1.6 recurring, right? So, L'Hopital's rule is the one which will help us to find immediately the limit of this function. So we'll learn that later. I hope that really helps. Based on this concept in this set of videos, I have a number of questions. I'll just change the function, sometimes rational, sometimes trigonometric function or any different kind, where after substituting we get 0 over 0 or we get some infinity over infinity or something like that uh, indeterminate this is called indeterminate indeterminate right so in that case you could find the limit using table of values or as i was mentioning lapital's rule i'm anil kumar and i hope that helps thank you and all the best